everybody welcome or welcome back to my channel it's pluto of pluto's muse here this is going to be a timeless pick a card reading um related to the new moon i guess it's a solar eclipse yes <laughs> the new moon solar eclipse in libra um that is going on in the month of october 2024 all right so um, for those of you that are watching, this is probably not going to be posted the day of, maybe the day after. Um, you know, most moons carry out energies three days before and three days after. So whenever you see this, even if you don't see this the same year as this reading, um, messages may still resonate. Take what resonates and leave the rest. Uh, not everything will resonate and that's completely fine. If you enjoy this reading, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Turn on your notification bells. Check the description box down below to book a personal reading. Book a personal reading if you need further guidance. Um, there should be three images on the screen. I actually think I'm going to do this reading podcast style. All right. So instead of actually showing my hands, I'm going to have the pictures on the screen. Um, and that's only because I'm not where I normally am. <laughs> <laughs> I'm filming in another location and I just want to make sure that um, it's not so much focused on the image or the background, more so um, focused on the message. All right. And these messages shouldn't be too long. Hopefully, I'm hoping these messages aren't too long, um, but you have three images to choose from. Choose whichever one resonates with you most and timestamps are down below. I appreciate you for watching. Let's get started. All right, pile one, you chose image one. Let's see what you are learning. General messages for this lunar eclipse in Libra. All right, what is my pile one's learning during this lunar eclipse in Libra? All right, Leo, somebody could be a Leo in this pile or somebody's dealing with a Leo or somebody's name is Leo. All right, you got three cards that came out. Hmm. Heavy on the Leo. Some of you in this pile could be 21, 17. I don't know if you're 17. <laughs> you could be, though. You could have a 17 year old. I'm seeing 21, 17, 44, and 11. Some of you could be Pisces or Aries dealing with one. Some of you could be Leos or Virgos. You're dealing with one. Some of you could be, yes, Leos and Virgos again. And then we also have Scorpio and Sagittarius, maybe relevant. Somebody in this pile, um, there's something significant here about hair okay I don't know what that's about maybe you're changing up your hair maybe somebody's hair is significant your hair or the person that I'm talking about uh hair may be significant they could dye their hair weird colors um somebody specifically could be a redhead they don't have to be or there's something here about um the hair being a focal point you know most times hair is tied to wisdom all right so somebody could have really long hair or really short hair or um Something just significant about the hair is what I'm getting. Your crown is significant. Someone in this reading, I feel like with this new moon, solar eclipse is teaching you or meant to teach you right now is um, to release your guilt around being yourself, around what it is that you've learned so that you can prioritize your happiness. All right. I don't know why you would feel guilty for what it is that you've learned. Or for what it is that you have gone through. Um, maybe you feel bad because. Hmm, somebody could be going through a rough time right now. I don't know if this is you or someone else. I don't know if you've put someone through a rough time. Or like someone else has put you through a hard time. There are some sort of hard times that have manifested because someone wasn't being authentic in the past. All right. If this doesn't sound like you, this could be somebody else's energy around you, but it feels like it's you. Pile one. Somebody's having some sort of realization um, about how their inauthenticity could even be lies. Like if somebody has lied in the past, somebody's starting to realize how their lies 
um, have manifested into hardship in other situations or hardships in regards to their relationships or something like that. You know what I'm getting the energy of? I'm getting the energy of someone that like, this isn't for everybody, but like for those of you that are dating currently, somebody in here could have a rebound or somebody has an energy here where it's like they're entertaining people or entertaining friendships or entertaining investments manifesting investments even that they may not even want or align with fully because somebody has a habit of not expressing their genuine emotions or just showing up genuinely um and again I don't know if this is your energy or somebody's energy around you but somebody could be feeling guilty about this around this moon okay Like, if some of you feel stuck in a situation currently, whether it's a friendship, a job, a relationship, or some sort of investment that you feel like you no longer align with, I feel like there's a part of you that feels guilty because you know that you you put yourself in this situation, you weren't being authentic, maybe you weren't showing your most authentic self, um, you weren't following your intuition, You didn't heal first. Somebody didn't heal first. Or this is how somebody feels about you. Yeah, there's something about somebody's self-worth. I'm also getting an energy here. Somebody that pretends to be different versions of themselves or shows up in different ways because they don't feel worthy. And again, I don't know if this is you or someone around you, but there seems to be someone in in your energy or this is your energy that has, they're going to come to a realization around this moon that being themselves is like the only way to be. Because whatever other route that somebody's been taking or whatever type of way that someone's been acting, it has been hindering their growth in a certain area of life, whether this is in love or friendship or work. Like somebody's realizing that being inauthentic has not served them, could even have gotten them attached to situations that they don't want to be in. I'm seeing Libra and Taurus be significant here. I'm also seeing uh, Pisces and Aries again, Leo and Virgo again, Sagittarius and Capricorn may be relevant. Yeah, somebody has regrets around the past. Somebody feels like they, if they knew they could have manifested something better, if they knew they could have manifested what they wanted, they would have never faked it with someone else or they they never would have tried to be someone that they weren't or something like that. Yeah, somebody's changing their mind. So this lunar eclipse is going to have somebody changing their mind about a way that they acted or... Yeah, it's making someone feel like they should have been authentic. Somebody's releasing the desire to... First off, if anybody in here is in a codependent relationship or some sort of codependent dynamic, could be on an old relationship, old friend group, job, anything like that. I see somebody kind of realizing that they've been codependent and choosing to release the desire to stay whether they're happy or not like somebody could have been staying in something even if they weren't happy um a job again a friend group family situation what have you a relationship um for others of you I'm also getting like somebody could be releasing the desire to seek validation from others um the guilt around that even because somebody definitely feels guilty for not being authentic and once they release this I feel like it's gonna help them align with what they actually want or again this is you 
you choosing to be authentic, it's giving people pleasing. Somebody's releasing the desire to people please. I don't know where someone was people pleasing. Could have been in a relationship, friendship. Uh, at a job. All right. Somebody could be doing this on social media. Like somebody's social media presence may not be as authentic as they want it to be. Um, and it wasn't authentic because they were seeking validation from others. Yes, this is coming from a past life. Somebody was operating in their south node. And now they're moving into their north node. Somebody could literally have a Libra south node. Mm-hmm. And for a lot of you, again, I'm getting this may be about a relationship. Somebody could have been acting one way to stay in a relationship or to be desired by somebody or to even get into a relationship like or get into a friend group or just to have someone be attracted to them. Um, but it may not have been authentic. Okay, because either somebody wasn't fully healed from their past or somebody was seeking the connection for the wrong reasons or something like that. Um, how is this showing up for my pal one spirit? Yeah, yeah. I feel like some of you are no longer chasing pal one. Some of you could have been in a chasing energy in the past. I see a lot of you stopping the, the desire to chase people or things. What's the external energy of my pile? Ones. Yes. Ooh. Because some of y'all may have found your person or. Either somebody else has, either some of you have found your person and this is why you're realizing that another situation isn't working out or you've been faking in another situation. Like some of you have identified who it is you want to be with or what type of person you like. So it's causing you to like realize what connections you've been faking in. And again, this could be about platonic connections job related things, family dynamics, romantic relationships, I don't know. For others of you, somebody could feel like they found the right person in you. But I'm still getting the the vibe that like maybe you want someone else or it's like you've matched somebody's energy but why is this relevant? Why is this relevant? Somebody, some of you match somebody's energy or did something to match somebody's energy, but it was to speed up the process of getting to know someone. Like some of y'all don't really know somebody or somebody really doesn't know you or something like that. That's how somebody feels. Somebody feels like they don't really know another person or you feel like somebody doesn't really know you. You're starting to realize this or someone's realizing this. What's the challenge here? I'm also getting to it's like somebody could have tried to rush into a situation right after. Like I said, it's like a rebound thing right after being in another situation. But they're starting to realize like. I actually wanted to be in this other thing or um, I actually like this person. Like it, it's two groups of people here. Somebody might actually like the person that they're moving towards, but they put on a facade in the process of getting to know this person or somebody faked a facade to get someone to like them, but now they're realizing that they wish they were with someone else or something like that. Or they wish they would have shown up as their actual self. Mm. 
Yeah. I feel like somebody was overthinking something like somebody either was overthinking and ending from their past or somebody was just overthinking being themselves. Or somebody has an issue with overthinking, like assuming that people won't like them for who they are, which causes them to act from a space of fear and like put on a facade or attach to people that they shouldn't attach to. Like for some of you, I'm even getting to like, if you do have more than one person that you like, like I said, some of you may have hopped into a situation super quickly, not knowing that what you wanted was still possible. So like committing to someone or moving into a relationship or moving forward with a friendship or something like that, not knowing that like, the person that you wanted did want you or the person that you wanted was still available. You just were being impulsive because there's like a fear here of not being accepted or someone just has issues with being happy on their own. Somebody's codependency or people pleasing ways or fear of abandonment may have pushed them into a relationship or an investment that just was not in alignment with them. I'm not saying it's the worst investment in the world, but I'm getting like somebody just wasn't Somebody just, it's almost like a form of self-sabotage. Somebody sabotaged themselves. What's the advice here for my pile ones? Some of you are being told, told to hold back from... Some of you are being told to hold back from something that you don't feel like is serving you or that you don't want. Whatever it is that doesn't feel like it's in alignment with you or you don't want it or it feels like it's like, um, I don't know. Because I see you holding back from one thing and moving towards what you actually want or somebody's coming in that you actually want and your guys are saying work on that thing. Or for some of you, this could even be somebody coming back around from your past that you want. Okay. Somebody wants to come in and work on something with you. And I feel like this is the person that you want. This is your wish fulfillment. Yeah. Or this is the job opportunity that you want. This is the friendship that you want. Like some of you are receiving the opportunity that you've wanted the whole time. Or this is still possible for you. But again, you may have settled for something else in the past. Or you may have portrayed yourself a different way in the past. And your guides are saying, like, let go of that old way. And move toward what you actually want. Any more advice? Hmm. Stop avoiding the truth. Somebody's avoiding a truth. What's the truth here? Or like communication. For some of you, there needs to be an apology of some sort that takes place. Somebody may need to apologize to someone about some sort of juggling that they were doing. Or like for just not being authentic in the past. I'm also getting two, though, like, I don't know. Has somebody tried to act like somebody's avoiding their feelings? Either somebody's avoiding apologizing for something that they did weird in the past. Again, this could be you or someone else. But for some of y'all, I'm talking directly to you. Somebody could be avoiding apologizing for faking something or being weird in the past. And they need to apologize so this situation can move forward and things could be come back together or whatever it is. But for others of you, I'm getting like somebody could have avoided their feelings in regards to a situation. 
And in order to balance out a connection or to get the outcome that someone wants, they need to be authentic about their feelings. Maybe somebody even acted like they didn't like someone or they didn't want something with someone. And if this isn't your energy, again, this could be somebody in your energy. Somebody played a game. I feel like somebody played a game in order to, again, manipulate somebody into taking a risk on them. But either somebody didn't want the risk to be taken, like it actually wasn't a real desire for the risk to be taken. Somebody was just playing with somebody's time or feelings. For others of you, I'm getting something here like somebody tried to manipulate someone into like chasing them or making a move on them. And it didn't work because... It wasn't needed, like it didn't need to be rushed or like, I'm getting like somebody didn't have to fake or manipulate a connection for it to work. Somebody could have been forcing something or tried to force something. Or again, even in somebody's career, like somebody tried to force people to like them for a persona they were putting on, but it's like people would have liked you just for being you. So next time, just be you. But also, release your regrets around the past. Somebody has regrets around the past. Yeah. Somebody could even have regrets around expressing their desire for somebody. Your self-care around this moon is... You got 44 again. Somebody's seeing 44 a lot. Your self-care around this moon is to... Uh, look for signs that are around you. Look for fairies, things like that. I'm getting butterflies, moths, dragonflies. I don't know. Significant bugs. Some of y'all are seeing bugs right now. That's a part of your self-care, paying attention to the signs and synchronicities that are around you. I'm also getting somebody needs to spend some time alone to reflect on what it is that they've experienced or are learning currently. Um. Also, smexy time. Somebody, If somebody wants to hit on someone or make their feelings known or something like that i'm getting this is a good time to do so especially if you haven't done that in the past or if you have a partner and i don't know y'all want to manifest that's a, a possibility here your mantras before you go you have i can decide today to recalibrate my energy and commit to love and joy and you also have, when I'm in a state of appreciation, I'm in vibrational alignment with my true love nature. All right. So that is all that I have for my power ones. I hope that made sense. I hope you enjoyed that message. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe if you did. Um, channel songs are down below. Thank you so much for watching. Hey, pile two. You are the pile that chose image two. All right, if you resonated with image two, this is your message, your general message for this new moon, solar eclipse in Libra. Let's see what your message is, pile two, for this new moon, solar eclipse in Libra. Oh, I should have named the signs in that last pile. I got to remember to do it in this reading. Some of you may resonate with pile one. Something about this hair is significant, pile Uh. Two, I brought up hair in pile one. Somebody in here, you could be cutting your hair, changing your hair color around this moon. Somebody could also be traveling, all right, commuting even. Somebody could be commuting to work or something like that. The number seven, 23, 18, and 22 may be significant. So Leo, Cancer, uh, Taurus, Gemini, um virgo libra and aries taurus may be relevant in this pile somebody is finding the confidence to let something go around this uh moon okay in order for them to take back control of whatever type of narrative that is currently being spun in their life this doesn't have to be letting go of a physical person for some of you it is some of you could be clinging on to someone that you feel like you need to help out or vice versa somebody could be holding on to you but i'm getting this is your energy 
there could be somebody in your life that you're holding on to that you feel like needs you, but I feel like you need you. Messages for pile two. Yeah, some of y'all letting go of somebody. Butterflies are significant in this pile. Okay, some of you could be letting go of a fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Um, Taurus, like I said before. Gemini, Aries, Taurus. Heavy on Aries and Taurus. Some of y'all got Aries and Taurus placements. And Gemini. Those are like the main placements I'm seeing. Yes, because you want to call something else in. All right, if this isn't the energy, like those signs in specific, I'm getting um, somebody could be letting go of their stubbornness around something and they're going to listen to their heart in regards to something that they want to call in or a risk that they want to take. All right, this could even be about a creative project. Some of you guys could be like moving to do something creative. I'm getting somebody's moving to another state, country, continent to do something creative or something for work. Mm -hmm. This could even be like mission work. Somebody wants to work with people. They may travel to do this. Somebody in here could be Christian, raised Christian. They don't have to be names Christian. Seeing bunnies and doves may be significant. Yeah, somebody in here is having a very spiritual moon. They're learning from whatever it is that they've experienced thus far, and they're going to use this as fuel to help them build something. Something about this spring or next spring is significant for my pile twos. I'm also getting pregnancy. Somebody could be pregnant or they're thinking about pregnancy or somebody just feels pregnant with ideas. What messages are relevant for my pile twos? Healthcare change. Hmm. Yeah, somebody's releasing something that is no longer supportive of their health. Ooh, this could literally be exercising. Somebody could be exercising. Okay, to heal from their past, to gain a new career. Hmm. For somebody in here, your physical appearance or your beliefs around your looks. Um, that's why I said that whole thing about like somebody could be cutting their hair or something like that. Somebody could be changing something about themselves that other people held a lot of value to in the past. And it could be anything. It could be their weight. It could be their, if not held a lot of value to like somebody could have made you feel bad for something piled to. There's things about yourself that have hindered you from being the best version of yourself or from showing up how you want to because either other people put too much importance on it or you did. Messages for pile two. Somebody could be 31 or 22. You don't have to be. 23. Did I say that already? Yes, I could be talking to a divine feminine or you're dealing with one. For a lot of you, this could be about a feminine energy, like I said. Or I'm talking to one. Something about somebody's childhood. I feel like somebody hasn't been appreciated in this pile. And that really has made someone like second guess themselves. All right. Somebody could have had issues with like, again, body image or self-worth in the past. And it's because of other people's perception of them. I feel like somebody's taking back control of that during this moon. And it could be literally like taking back control, like reclaiming their power and using what it is that people have viewed as a weakness, as a strength, or somebody in here is like literally changing whatever it is that people have made them hate. Or you're considering this. All right. Yeah. Because for some of you, whatever it is that these people have made you question has stopped you from stepping into your full potential. Okay. Somebody in here, like you are worthy of something. This could even be having a child. Like somebody in here could be like, oh, I don't want to have a child. Like this is so, <laughs> this might be random, but somebody can relate. Like somebody's like, oh, I don't want to have a child. Like I'm going to gain weight. Or somebody's like, I, I don't want to have a child. Um, if it's not about having a child, it's just about starting something. Somebody's like, I don't want to start this thing because 
I don't feel the part. I don't feel prepared. If you've allowed external things to hold you back from fulfilling certain dreams, I feel like that's changing. This could even be a lover, like a lover's coming back in or a lover wants to talk to you. And some of you have allowed like who you've become or what people have projected onto you to hold you back from what you actually want. Yeah, somebody wants you, Pile 2. Somebody wants you. Why is this relevant for Pile 2? Some of y'all felt like this opportunity wasn't real or wasn't possible in the past. All right. Even if you're a masculine, that's why I said some of you could even be dealing with a divine feminine or you're, you are a divine feminine. Doesn't matter. But some of y'all may have not felt attractive enough for someone. Somebody could have felt like they weren't wealthy enough for someone. Somebody could have felt like they weren't um, prepared for an opportunity, didn't look the part, didn't feel the part. And I'm getting like this is some sort of spiritual lesson that you were meant to learn or um that you've been, you know, fighting or facing for the past couple of months, years, whatever it is. I feel like somebody's overcoming this fear of not feeling worthy of what they want or feeling like they have to wait for what they want. Some of y'all have been waiting for something that is meant to come in or some of you have been delaying something that's supposed to come in. Yeah, because you've been having a hard time um, changing your perspective about some sort of ending that may have taken place in the past. For some of you, if this is about a body thing, some of y'all could have had a past partner body shame you, all right, or family members body shame you, or you've gone through some sort of experience that may have changed your perception about who you are or how you show up, whether it's your personality, your body, anything like that. Somebody could have triggered you um, or made you feel like you weren't worthy of what you wanted. Mm-hmm. And this caused you to isolate, but I'm getting some of you are now in a space where you want to meet new people or connect with new people. And now you're feeling pushed into new crowds. Yeah, like you want to show off, you want to show yourself, you want to be seen, you want to be celebrated and you should be. Some of you are very talented. Did I say that already in this pile? Somebody in here is really talented. If I didn't say this in this pile, I feel like somebody, I don't know where I said it. <laughs> somebody in here is very talented though. Okay. Or you're dealing with someone that's super talented. But it's like the confidence, the confidence is what's missing here. And it's not that it's missing. It's just been tainted. Like somebody tainted somebody's confidence at some point in time. What's the advice? What's the advice from my pile to somebody in here could be in the LGBTQ. They don't have to be. Pile two, do what feels right. Some of y'all, what feels right for you is releasing someone or something or an investment or a way of thinking that has hindered you from receiving what it is you truly deserve for others of you I'm getting like some of y'all need to give more of yourself to the world or to the people around you there's like gifts that you have that you haven't been sharing or like a connection that you should be entertaining that you're not entertaining that you're not fully open to because you have regrets around something else from the past or I don't know. And again, if it's not about you entertaining an actual connection, it's like projects and things like some of y'all have things that you're supposed to be pursuing that you're not fully pursuing because you, you either feel like people don't view you as valuable or there's just some sort of spiritual les lesson you're learning. And it looks like it's around commitment or your family dynamic. Some of y'all want to be in a commitment. Or some of you want to build some sort of long-term uh, success for yourself. But again, it's like you're avoiding it. Why? Somebody could want to go to school for something. Why is somebody avoiding this? Because I feel like something requires someone to be consistent. For some of you, again, if this is about body stuff, somebody could like need to be consistent at the gym. Or somebody needs to be consistent with... A hobby right if you want to be a makeup artist you need to start posting your makeup if you want to be a hairdresser you need to start doing the hair if you want to be a singer you need to start posting your singing you need to start posting like I'm getting somebody needs to start being consistent with some something somebody wants to be in a relationship with someone they need to stop running away from the relationship 
and they need to commit to it or start investing in it. But somebody's confidence was shot in the past, like I said, and it caused them to like either sabotage or avoid something that they actually wanted. With self-care so your advice is like to do the right thing and the right thing might be giving to what it is you want or investing in yourself in a way that allows you to achieve what you want yeah some of y'all definitely need to take advantage of this moon phase or the moon phases that are coming up all right um, some people don't feel like manifesting around the eclipse is beneficial. And honestly, I don't know if I think it's beneficial either. Um, only because this is like an eclipse. So there could be certain things that shift unexpectedly for you. Even if you don't, you know, even if you want something or you feel like you're, you know, you're like, no, I really want this thing. I'm getting like things could change. Your desires can change very drastically. Um, but you can still manifest or at least set intentions, just make some time to kind of set your intentions or write down what you want. Even if you're not full blown trying to manifest it, I'm just getting like get clear about what you want at this time. Some of y'all need to plan a vacation. Mm -hmm. Some of you need to plan a vacation or take a trip or do something for yourself. This could even be too like maybe somebody wants to take a trip, but they're like, I don't feel cute or I don't feel prepared to go on that date I don't feel prepared to do that thing I don't feel prepared to meet that person align with this opportunity you know either it's time to start preparing yourself or it's time to just accept yourself baby girl baby man <laughs> somebody in here you need to just accept who you are and know that you are enough yeah some of you could be musicians or um, artists or some sort of influencer or something like that you need to just do what you want to do And stop being afraid. And if it is an art or whatever it is, like I said before, for some of you, it has to do with you connecting with people. Just do the thing. Change the thing about yourself that has been holding you back. Or show it off. Celebrate it. Dang, too many cards. What's the oracles for my pile threes, pile three. Oh, not pile three. Some of y'all could connect with pile three. You have, I slow down and listen to the guidance that's available to me. Yeah, some of you definitely need to take a second to be on your own to meditate or listen to your guides. What else for Kyle? You have manifesting is the creative process of aligning with the energy of the universe to co-create an experience that elevates my spirit and the spirit of the world. Somebody needs to know that like being yourself, being authentic, showing up how you are, stepping out there and doing something that's unexpected is actually of benefit to everybody. And when I say everybody, I mean everybody on the planet. So you need to just be yourself, pal, too. You also have I believe I'm worthy of feeling good. Yeah, some of you guys have issues with feeling good, all right, or loving yourself. And I feel like it's the result of people making you feel that way. For some of you, it's been like a family wound. Or again, it's like a relationship wound. Like maybe you've had partners who were like, you don't look good enough. Or, you know, are you sure you want to start that thing? Are you sure you want to do this thing? Are you sure? Like I'm getting somebody has made you feel insecure or made you question your worthiness in the past. And that needs to be cut out. Somebody has hindered you from being the version of yourself you were supposed to be. And you've either delayed offering something to the world that is meant to be offered, or you've delayed yourself from receiving love or offering love that was meant to be received or offered. So there's something here about stopping the blocking of your own blessings. Okay, so that's all I got, pal, too. I hope that made sense. I hope this message resonated. Like, comment, share, and subscribe if it did. Turn on your notification bells. Check the description box down below to book a personal reading. Book a personal reading if you need further guidance. Check for the channel songs. Talk to you guys later. Hi, pal, three. Last but not least, this is going to be your pal in this new moon solar eclipse reading in Libra. <laughs> Why am I confused in this pile, pal, three? Let's see what comes up for you, pile three. What is relevant for my pile threes? Somebody in here, you definitely are doing some witchy things around this moon because I'm hearing Rhiannon by Fleetwood Mac. All right, somebody's name could be Rhiannon or somebody 
likes Rihanna. Okay. Pisces. So I could be a Pisces. Have Pisces placements. Definitely getting witchy vibes. Somebody's witchy. Messages from my pile of threes. My throat's getting itchy, pile three. Some of you could have allergies. Pile three, this moon is all about you, pile three. I mean, the moon could always be about you. It's always going to be about you. Um, but I'm getting, like, for somebody in here specifically about you and you needing to know that only you can fix yourself. Okay? Somebody in here could have issues with codependency or feeling like they need other people to feel whole or somebody's reflecting on a connection from their past where they may have felt this way a friendship from their past a relationship from their past family dynamic from their past I'm getting somebody had felt like they needed other people to feel whole at some point and your guides are saying around this moon you may want to go on a date like a self-love date or you need to do something just for you Okay, because somebody has, again, struggled with feeling like they are enough or that they can fix something themselves. Hmm. Somebody keeps replaying the past. Somebody could be 36 years old, 42 years old, um, born on the first, 33 years old as well. I'm getting Virgo, uh, Libra, um... Gemini and Cancer, uh, Aquarius and Capricorn, or, um, yeah, Gemini and Cancer is coming up heavy again. Let's see. There's something here about stripes. Somebody could be wearing stripes right now, or somebody likes stripes. I don't know what that's about. Or, like, stripes, like, witchy things. Like, uh, you know how people have, like, striped socks. Not socks. Could be striped socks or like striped stockings. Um, what's the witch that has striped stockings? Is this from the Wizard of Oz? Somebody somebody could have been codependent on a, a wicked witch or somebody. Yeah. Somebody could be a wicked witch. Okay. I'm hearing a mother. Somebody could have a toxic mom that they've been codependent on or seek validation from, but it doesn't have to be. I'm getting Leo energy here. Could be talking to a Leo. Somebody got Leo energy in their chart. Aries, Taurus, Gemini, Cancer, Scorpio is here. Heavy on the Aries and Taurus. Why is Aries and Taurus so heavy in this reading? Somebody has seeked, uh, like, the validation from other people based off of their beauty. Like, somebody wants to be seen as beautiful. Okay, there's something about somebody not feeling beautiful. Mm-hmm. And maybe this has caused them to seek. I feel like somebody's parent did not make them feel as beautiful as they are. And this has caused them to seek validation from people romantically or friend wise. Okay. This could be you or someone else. I could be talking to a masculine or a feminine. We're getting somebody has been seeking the support, love or validation from people outside of them because a parent didn't give it. Mm hmm. This could be within your creative field or some of you are just very creative people. Maybe you're even seeking the approval or validation of people in regards to some sort of project you want to start. All right. Or some sort of talent that you have. If any of you have been feeling insecure about your talents, I'm getting you are very talented. So no need to feel bad. Yeah. Like some of you are about to get attention for something or you've been getting attention for something. But maybe you don't get support from your parent. Maybe your parent doesn't support what you do. Some of y'all need to be honest about something. Okay? Maybe you need to be honest about this parent. Maybe I'm saying something and somebody's like, nah, my parent supports me. Or, nah, I'm not seeking validation from my parent. Or, no, I, I feel beautiful or something like that. We'll see. This doesn't have to be your message. You can choose another pile. But somebody in here, this could be your message. I'm getting Sagittarius in this pile as well. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Somebody needs to check their fifth house. Messages for pile three. 
Somebody could be seeing foxes. Changing your mind in reverse, okay? Why is this here? Hmm. This is a similar energy to pile two, but it's different because I'm getting somebody in here. Um, hmm. Why is this here? Why is this here for my pile threes? Pile threes, what do pile threes need to see? It's pile three need to see. I feel like pile three, if you've ever been super hard on yourself, on your body, on your looks, I'm seeing some of you change this. Trigger warning, before I say it, trigger warning. Somebody could even have issues with like a um, like an eating disorder or something like that. Whether you know this or not, or some of you like go on fad diets or you've been doing this recently or you're just kind of particular about yourself. Not saying that there's anything wrong with being health conscious. I could be talking to a masculine in this file. You don't have to be. There's nothing wrong with being health conscious, but I'm getting something here about like somebody being real hard on themselves and it's the result of some sort of trauma around a parent not showing you enough love or support or acceptance around how you look or seeing like a parent like um, judge other people even. Okay, this doesn't even have to be based off of your weight. For some of you, it's specifically about weight. For others of you, this is about like, like looks like somebody could be like colorist or judging other people's hair or I don't know I feel like some of you are about to start meeting new people or somebody has met someone that has changed their perception on this you could have met someone or you're about to meet someone yes I got divine masculine divine feminine out here some of y'all your counterpart you have a partner or a lover that has helped you alchemize some sort of trauma all right, or this is what's going on around this moon. Somebody's somebody's counterpart or another, a, a, like a match to you. If this isn't somebody you claim as a counterpart or like your partner, I'm getting some of you are meeting someone that like is just as equally as divine as you. And they're going to help you see yourself or see a situation differently around the past. For some reason, I was hearing the song that's like, I believe in miracles. I don't know what song that is. <laughs> I'm hearing that though. Somebody believes in miracles. Maybe some of you feel like this person is a miracle or whatever's going on is a miracle to you. Yeah, somebody could be going through an awakening. Somebody is going through an awakening. In regards to like how they view themselves. I'm even getting like a smexuality awakening. Somebody could be having an awakening in regards to their smexuality. All right, they don't have to. Why is this here? Somebody is ending something to start something new. And again, I don't know if it's like the ending of an old way of thinking that's going to help them start a new phase of self-love or like somebody's going to end something to start something new change their perspective on something to start something new this could be about how they view themselves or how they view other people for some of you very specific again i'm getting like some of you have been conditioned to not like something about people or about yourself and i feel like something around this moon is going to make you like change your mind like this could even be like a race thing like I know this is like crazy, but somebody in here, like maybe you've been conditioned to not like a certain race of people or this is very extreme. I know, but somebody in here may relate like there's something that somebody has been conditioned not to like or to feel shameful about liking. And I feel like they're going to change their mind around this moon because it seems like there is an awakening that's happening. Um, and it could be because somebody is experiencing two different versions of uh, a person or of a thing. All right. I know that sounds weird, but I'm getting like you could be meeting two people with two different mindsets or two different people with two different ways of thinking. That's the same thing. <laughs> or two different people with like two different, I don't know, personality types or something like that. And maybe one of these people are like someone that you. I don't know. Would normally judge, but you're not judging this person or something's changing your mind. Why is this relevant for pile? 
because I feel like some of y'all have been carrying the burden of the past or of somebody else's trauma on your back, pile three. This ain't even your trauma, boo, whoever I'm talking to. Yeah, some of y'all have been carrying the trauma of other people on your back. And it's been causing you to have issues with making a decision about something, either about who you want to choose, what you want to offer love to, or um, what you want to start. Some of you are ready to leave something behind or leave someone behind to start something new. Or some of you are ready to leave the beliefs of someone behind. Again, this could be a parental figure or an ex-partner or something like that. Some of you are releasing the old beliefs of someone else behind to start something new. I just saw 1111 on the timestamp. Yeah, but your biggest challenge here is like changing fully. Somebody's going through some sort of death. Yeah, changing your perspective on what you used to not like or changing your perspective on what you don't like about yourself. Somebody in here doesn't like something about themselves. Yeah. Somebody changing your perspective. That could even be a challenge. Somebody's changing your perspective. I'm not going to lie. Somebody in here, you could be like meeting someone that is making you want to choose them. Or, like, somebody is choosing you and you're confused. Like, maybe you don't get why somebody's choosing you. Hmm. Or you get the opportunity to choose and for some reason this is confusing you. Why is it so confusing? Um, Don't ignore your guides around this time. Somebody in here is, like, going to ignore their guides or chooses to ignore their guides. This could even be, too, um, with me talking about Rhiannon in the beginning. Some of you could be dealing with like a, a witchy person or some of you are very witchy and maybe you've like rejected that part of yourself. Maybe you've rejected the part of yourself that is very spiritual or maybe you like have been taught not to like spiritual people or somebody else's like this is what somebody else is going through and this is why it's relevant. Yeah. Yeah. Your advice in this pile is to go after what you want or to just stand in your truth. Whether people support you or not, pile uh, three, you need to do your own thing. Because I feel like some of you have identified the shortcomings of the people from your past or like your parents or something like that. Like some of you know that your parents have sabotaged themselves or have avoided their own truths or have avoided their own authenticity. And if it's not your parents, it's like people from your past. People from your past have lied about what they like or who they are. And it's like, now that you know this, it's like you don't want to do that. Or you're being told not to do that. Forgive yourself or be yourself. Stop being afraid of being yourself. Somebody's afraid of being themselves. Yeah, somebody's afraid to like accept the truth of something. For some of y'all, you're afraid to accept that your family is toxic or your family has taught you some sort of te toxic, negative way of thinking. Or some of you are afraid to um, accept that. I don't know. I don't know if it's a relationship that's toxic or what's going on. Something has been toxic. What's this about? Some of you have realized that like you've been addicted or attached to Somebody's just afraid to, to be themselves. Somebody's been afraid to be themselves. Why is this here? To take a risk. Yeah. Somebody has been afraid to be themselves, to take a risk, because... They've been waiting on other people to save them or they've been waiting on other people to validate them or they've been waiting on someone to approve of them, to approve of who they're being, of what they've become. I'm also getting to somebody in this pile is reclaiming their power because somebody may have like, if this is about other people validating you, some of you have been waiting for other people to show you that they approve of you or like you or want you. And I feel like you're starting to realize like, why can't you just say it or why can't you just do it or why can't you just start it like why can't you voice your own opinion why can't you save yourself why can't you release the stress of a situation some of y'all been stressing yourselves out i'm getting like you're not stressing out anymore does that make sense does this make sense for my pile threes some of you, you're getting into yoga or you're into yoga or somebody's into yoga. Yeah. Somebody could also be 
seeing a lot of synchronicities, signs, synchronicities, bugs, um, symbols that may be relevant. Lotuses may be significant for somebody in this file. Somebody could be on their period. <laughs> I'm sorry. I mean, we're not apologizing for periods, but I'm getting somebody in there could be on their period. I know that's real specific, but so I'm getting somebody could be on their period. Maybe that's why somebody's so emotional, like, or somebody's just in their feelings. That doesn't have to be the case, but I'm getting that's significant for somebody in here. Yeah, somebody needs to, hmm, somebody needs to take a second to just meditate on how far they come. Um, I'm also getting how they speak to themselves. Somebody needs to pay attention to how they speak to themselves. Some of you could speak really harshly to yourself. Maybe you meet somebody that's like really positive with you. And then it's like, oh, wow. Like, you know, how come this person's so nice to me? And it's like, cause you should be nice to you or something like that. Messages for my pile threes. Messages for pile three. Your mantras, pile three, you have, when I merge my desire with faith, I can take action from a place of peace rather than control. You have, I feel my way into faith one step at a time. Your faith is important in this pile, pile uh, three. You also have, the universe powerfully responds the instant I realign with love. Somebody could be seeing uh, feathers. Yeah, but I'm getting like some of you, you need to have faith that your actions are going to work out for you either way, as long as you're being authentic. And that'll help you take action from a place of peace rather than trying to manipulate or control an outcome. I'm also getting to some of y'all need to just keep moving forward, even if you don't know where you're headed, even if you don't know how your actions are going to be perceived or received. I'm getting you just need to be yourself or something like that. Um, you need to just love yourself. Just love yourself and be loved. Somebody could be wanting to love you. You should just let them love you. Okay. So that's all I got pile, uh, three. I hope that made sense. I hope you enjoyed this reading. Thank you so much for watching. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. If the messages resonate, turn on your notification bells. Check the description box down below to book a personal reading. Book a personal reading if you need further guidance. Um, yep. <laughs> A channel songs are down below. Yep, that's all that I got. Talk to you guys later.